No good. There's nothing here out of the ordinary. Computer, we'd like to browse the database for information on weapons using symbological genetics. No matching data found. Damn! Does the data even exist? Uncle Robert wouldn't lie. The data must be in here somewhere. She's right. Don't give up yet. I know. I know. Computer, scan my genetic profile and search the database for any matching data. Scanning. Searching. One result found. Bingo! Display. The coming crisis for humanity? Let's check it out. Yeah. My dad and Uncle Robert? They're pretty young, but I think you're right. Mom. That woman on the end? Yes. That's her.
This project was initiated as a result of the exploration of the planet Styx in galactic year 752. Styx is an unusual planet on which explorers found the Time Gate, a portal that seems to be a sort of time machine. A full-scale study of Styx and the Time Gate was undertaken in 752. The Time Gate is sentient. That was about all we knew about it based on our research up to that point. No one yet knew who had created the Time Gate or for what purpose. However, all became clear after the study conducted in galactic year 752. Never heard about this before. Something this big should have been major news. After an investigation extending over several weeks, we have discovered that the time gate responds to symbological data. And it was recently discovered that when certain special symbological data are sent into the time gate, it is possible to obtain recorded data from the time gate itself. However, included in these data was information more horrifying than we could have imagined. We learned of the existence of 4D beings. A 4D being? Four-dimensional entities, possessing technology far more advanced than our own, including the ability to travel through time. Furthermore, as we continued our research, we found out that these beings may actually have created our universe. <laughs> created? Sounds like a fairy tale to me. Shh, quiet. The symbological technology that we use today originated with these beings. The time gate on the planet Styx was also created by using their advanced symbological technology. We had thought that the time gate was a portal for traveling through time, but it appears we were wrong. The time gate is in fact a door to 4D space. Time travel was a phenomenon that occurred as a result of the protective measures taken to prevent us from detecting the existence of 4D space. The 4D universe allows free movement through time, and the time gate tapped into that potential. This was a most exciting discovery. Not only were we able to unravel the mystery of the time gate, we were also able to confirm the existence of a new species. But then, something completely unexpected happened. The time gate spoke a warning. Resign thyself. Doctor, the time gate. What in the world? Science, Science in the eternal sphere, sphere has advanced, has advanced, too, advanced far. too far. This cannot this be, cannot left, be unchecked. left unchecked. Eternal sphere? The eternal the sphere, sphere is the universe, the universe as known to known your, your kind. kind. Time gate, tell us what you mean. Our science has advanced too far? Symbological, Symbological genetics is the science, the science of the creator, of the creator as, is the as is the symbology on which it is based. It is a, it forbidden, is a forbidden, forbidden art. art. Your, kind Your kind has foolishly has trespassed, trespassed into a forbidden domain. domain. There, is a, there is a danger that this forbidden technology will be turned against the creator. The creator. Thus, Thus, the time is near time when he shall he unleash the wrath, the wrath of his enforcers, enforcers upon you all. We were terrified by the Time Gate's warning. The Creator was going to destroy his creations. It appeared that the Armageddon prophesied by numerous religions was going to come true. We asked whether we could escape annihilation by abandoning symbological genetics. But the Time Gate's reply completely crushed all our hopes. It is too late. Too late. Even should you abandon your work, another will come to take it up again. Such, Such is the way of your kind. You are contaminated beyond salvation. Your annihilation is inevitable. This is not a warning. This is a sentence. Resign thyself. Resign thyself. Resign thyself. We return to Moonbase. Stunned. This entity, beyond our understanding, had proclaimed our doom. At first, we considered reporting this to the top levels of the Federation government.
but it was too outrageous. We knew that no one would believe us. Our choice was either to reconcile ourselves to the Creator's wish for our destruction or to fight to the bitter end. We chose the path of resistance. We would not accept our death sentence. If we are to die, we'll die fighting. Be that as it may, our enemy was the creator of our universe. How could we face an enemy who possessed absolute power to fight? We needed a tremendous power of our own. We decided to use symbological genetics in an attempt to create a weapon, a human with powers that could defeat the creator. This was our project. Two children were selected to be the subjects of our experiments. I am sure there is no way we could ever apologize enough to these children. No way we could ever earn their forgiveness. People may label us as monsters. Nevertheless, we feel that this research, and this research alone, has a chance of saving us all. These children are our hope. That would be us. The computations we ran on the data obtained from the time gate indicate that the Creator's power is phenomenal. We gave one child the power to destroy, the destruction gene. To the other child we gave the power of change, the alteration gene. However, we do not expect that the powers of these two children alone are enough to stand up to the 4D being known as the Creator. We believe our survival rests on one thing. We must enter 4D space and defeat the Creator. That is why we have decided to give the next child, Professor Esteed's child, the power to connect space, the connection gene. She will be able to use this symbological genetic power to create a path through the time gate and into 4D space. What? This unborn child is the key to unlocking our enemy's gates. Sophia, you too? No, it can't be. I... The children's powers will not flower immediately. However, when these three children come together, their different special symbological genes will resonate, and it should be possible for them to utilize their powers. Beyond this, they must learn control by applying their powers in combat. I am planning to talk to the children directly when the time comes. But if something should happen to me, please, whoever is watching this video, let them know. I apologize for asking this of you, but there is a great deal at stake. What we did was inhumane and forbidden by Federation law. We could never apologize enough to our children, the subjects of these experiments. Did we do the right thing? This is a question I find myself unable to answer. I'm sure we'll find out when the final day of judgment arrives. If the children choose annihilation, not to use their powers, then so be it. These powers belong to the children, and it is up to them to decide how to use them. Finally, I have something I want to say to our children. I feel horrible for making you bear this heavy burden. I will not ask for your forgiveness. I only ask that you choose your own path. Think, decide, act for yourselves. Even if you choose to fight. Even if you choose to accept annihilation. That is all we, your self-indulgent parents, desire from you. I think it had to be us. They believed we could do it. I gotta be honest. 
I still don't really understand what's going on. But it's obvious our parents left the future in our hands. Our genes have determined our destinies. That might have been true until now. But like my dad said, the choice is in our hands now. You're right. Time to go meet the boss. To the planet Styx. Say goodbye here. What? No! I don't wanna! Don't throw a tantrum, okay? But everyone else is going. I wanna go too. Yes, but from there we're going on into 4D space. Because if we don't, everything will end. Then I want to fight too. I don't want everything to end. Everyone's fighting but me. Don't leave me all alone here. But it's dangerous. We don't even know what kind of place it is. Yeah, well, but everyone's still going anyway. That's right. Go back to your parents. This is serious. Where we're going is no place for children. That's a little harsh. But it's true. A child that doesn't know what she's getting into will only slow us down. to live. Do you understand? Never say anything like that again. What? You can't mean... We're not going there to die. We're going there to live. Understand? Yes! <sighs> what can you do? But you have to get the Circus Master's permission first. Otherwise, forget about it. be really worried about you. Okay? Well, all right. I'll go ask him.
Commodore. What took so long? Any interference from the executioners? Yes, but we made it. Indeed. Glad to have you back safely. But first things first, did you find out anything? We did. There was a secret file concealed in my father's database. Is that so? My name and genetic profile were the keywords. I see. That explains why we could not find anything. What was in the file? The identity of these mysterious creatures that are attacking the galaxy and the Earth. Go on. They're the emissaries of the Creator. So you're saying it is the Creator? Nonsense. I don't blame you for being skeptical, but that's what my father believed. I suppose, after seeing what they look like, and their capabilities, I would believe that too. What they look like? Yes, based on their size, it's easy to see that they surpass Federation battleships in offensive and defensive capabilities, as well as speed. It's no wonder some call them gods. We have little chance against them. Commodore, we need to travel to the planet Styx, where we can enter a realm known as 4D Space, where the Creator resides. According to my father, it's a different dimension than ours, so time won't progress at the same rate as it does here. In fact, the concept of time itself will not apply in 4D Space. We're hoping that once we're there, we'll find some way to defeat the Creator and save us all. But isn't there a possibility that by defeating the Creator, you will also destroy his creation and all of us with it? I don't think that'll be a problem. In fact, I believe defeating the Creator will free us from his hand and enable us to live in absolute freedom. That's right. And my father gave us the power to do just that. I see. Then we'll set course for the planet Styx. I fear the trip won't be easy. Are things that bad? Yes. The enemy has already reached our final line of defense. It is only a matter of time until they breach it. Oh no! Then they can't afford to lose the Aquaeli, the Federation's most advanced ship. We'll go on the Diplo and... Impossible. The Diplo would never make it through enemy territory and reach the planet. Even the Aqua Eli alone is no match for such a foe. I can't allow you to risk your lives when there is no hope of success. Commodore? The Executioners are moving against our final line of defense. This will of the Creator, where our sins so, so unforgivable.
Calculate a course for evading their attack. Once we are out of the combat zone, proceed to Styx at max warp. Yes, sir. Course calculated. 112654.774. Good. Get us out of the combat zone. Top speed. Yes, sir. No enemies detected in the present area. Right. Looks like we've escaped them for now. You all should get a little more rest. Okay. Commodore, 17 minutes to the planet Styx. We're picking up a strong energy reaction nearby. The Executioners. I'm afraid so, sir. <sighs> I am sorry, but it seems we will not be able to transport you down to the surface. You want us to give up? Please, I've said nothing of the sort. You'll go to Styx by shuttle before the Aqua Ellie enters orbit. Commodore, what about you and your crew? That's already been decided. We will use the Aqua Ellie to lure the executioners away from you. You can't. That'd be suicide. Unfortunately, there is no other way. I apologize, we are unable to take you all the way. But don't worry, we won't sit here helplessly waiting for our destruction. They shall face the greatest power the Federation has. But... The old man's right. There's no other way. I'm afraid so.
Attention all crew members. The fate of the galaxy rests on the impending battle. Let us prove here and now that the Aqua Ellie's crew is the best in the Federation. This creator has sentenced us all to annihilation. Let us all stand together against him and live! I'm with you, sir. We can take them, sir. Let's mess them up good, sir. Onward, my faithful comrades! They're everywhere, as I expected. Everyone ready? Let's hurry to the time gate. Yeah! Let's go. Leave it to me. I'm with you.
preferred a more worthy opponent. This is the time gate. The gene of connection. Sophia, Dr. Leingod said you have the genetic power to create a path through the time gate and into 4D space. Yeah, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Well, that's understandable. I'm sorry. Don't say that. There's nothing to apologize for. But I'm letting you all down. Don't worry about it. If you say so. Sophia's powers haven't manifested yet. I know. Well, we won't get anything accomplished just standing around here. Let's check out the gate. Good idea. <sighs> what is it, Sophia? Are you okay? I'm just getting in the way, aren't I? Not at all, Sophia. And don't be afraid to say when you're hurting. It moves? This is how it normally operates. What is it? My hand. It's hot. What's happening? I don't understand. Sophia! She's manifesting. Uh, uh. You okay? I think so. Whoa! What was that? The time gate, it's... What the hell is that? Amazing. That's... that's 4D space. It might be. It is. How do you know? I don't know why, but I can sense it. Yes. This is 4D space. Yeah, I can sense it too. Something deep down inside is telling me that too. 
I have no idea what you're talking about, but I believe you. If you all feel that way, it must be. That means the Creator lies somewhere beyond this gate. Say, can we even exist in 4D space? Yeah, it's a completely different dimension. There's no way we can know for sure. Still, I don't think Dr. Lingod would have overlooked this. Right, but we can't know for sure, can we? I wonder. Hey, there's no use thinking about it. Let's just dive right in. Well, there you have it. Decisiveness is a virtue. You're right. Let's go, everybody. Let's find and defeat the Creator. What the? Something came out of the Eternal Sphere display. Cool. Is that a new feature? Where are the executioners? No clue. But this must be 4D space. Wow. We made it here safely. What a relief. It sure is. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't the enemy's home base supposed to be a little more tense, usually? Yeah, what is this place? But this is definitely 4D space. No mistake there. Indeed. Going on here. Hey, did I hear you say executioner? Uh, yes, you did. Who are you? Vlad Garrett. That's not exactly what we meant, kid. Hey, don't worry. I'm not one of the bad guys. I wonder. Come to my house. I think you may find out what you want to know there. Well, he doesn't look particularly dangerous. True. Maybe we will learn something. That's right. Right. Okay, look. It seems like he knows something about the execution. And we've nothing to gain from staying here. Nothing ventured, as they say. Them. Hurry up, or else security will come. Come on! What's your full name? And where were you born? My name? Mm-hmm. Why do you want to know that? Nothing much. 
Just something I want to check. My name's Fate Line God. I'm from Earth. Good. Okay. There it is. Wow. Okay. So you are who I thought you were. Great. I believe it now. It's just like Blair said. Blair? Hey, what are you talking about? Can you explain it from the top, please? You're not related to those executioners, are you? No, not really. Hmm, how should I explain this? You guys live in the Eternal Sphere, right? Eternal Sphere? Yeah, check it out! Hey, that's... Huh? Why? That's a battle between the Federation and the Executioners. That's right. This is what's happening right now in the Eternal Sphere. What's happening? Hey, kid. What the hell is this Eternal Sphere thing, anyway? How can we see the fight between the Federation and the Executioners? Relax. I'll explain everything. The Eternal Sphere is a universe inside a simulator. Earth is one of the planets inside that universe. A simulator? You can watch the Eternal Sphere and the events happening in the Milky Way on any terminal. And you guys are characters from inside the Eternal Sphere simulator. Hey. What's this kid saying? We're just... characters living inside a simulator? That's right. In other words, we're... programs? Well, yeah, if you want to put it that way. So, you're saying that our universe is nothing more than a computer game? Hmm. <laughs> No, it's an online reality that everyone shares. Nobody can reset it, so it's not what you'd think of as a game. I guess it's kind of a parallel world. I... We're just puppets for you people to manipulate? Well, in a way, yeah. But you all have your own individual AI programs, so you're really not that different from us. It's not like we can move you around with a joystick or anything like that. That's why I think you're more or less like us. You just live in a different dimension. Thus, the parallel world. Mm-hmm. Then what are those executioners? Are they programs too? Mm-hmm, exactly. According to a recent press release, a problem was found in the Milky Way region of the Eternal Sphere simulation. That's where you guys live, right? They say if they don't do something about that problem, it'll affect the entire program. The executioners were sent in to delete anomalies that caused the problem. So they're fixing bugs. You're kidding me. I figured those things weren't gods, but now you're telling me they're programs? But wait, if we're programs, how can we exist here? If what he's saying is true, this should be impossible. 
Now that I don't understand either. That must be Maria's power, the alteration gene. Yes, that must be it. The power given to me by Professor Leingod. A program created by a program. It's kind of scary if you think about it. Say, kid, how do you know so much about all this? Cuz, my buddy works for the company that developed the Eternal Sphere. Her name is Blair. She told me all sorts of things. But don't get me wrong, I'm really not one of the bad guys. Then why did you bring us here? Mm, curiosity, mainly. Programmed life forms coming into the real world? Amazing! I mean, who would ever imagine such a thing? Now that you put it that way... You guys came here to stop the executioners, right? What do you think your chances are? Think you can do it? Security? Bad guys? Vlad, did you? I didn't do anything! Freeze! Get your hands up! You people are under arrest! Mom! Mom, did you call security? Vlad, what was I supposed to do? I was so worried about you. Aw, oh, Mom! Can't you mind your own business? What do we do now? Whatever we do, we can't let ourselves get captured. I'm with you on that one. Shall we? Yeah. Surrender quietly. Give me a All of them? That was too easy. That was easy. I assumed everyone in 4D was tough, like the executioners. I guess the executioners are exceptions. I guess so. The executioners must be specially designed for the Eternal Sphere. Mm-hmm. I think you're pro- Here, this is for you! What's this? If you guys don't believe what I tell you, then check it out for yourselves. There's a special Eternal Sphere Terminal in Gemini. Go take a look! Vlad, stop it this instant! <laughs> Smart little brat. Let's go to Gemini like Flad suggested, and figure out what this disc does. <laughs> 